Hey, it's your lady Shady Slay, and I'm back. I wanted to come on here and rant, okay? Rant, okay, pretty ladies and fellas. Yeah, so topic today is F what society thinks, okay? F what society thinks. F what they think, okay? Because who's to tell us what to do? Like, who's to tell us what to do? Who's to, like, say that women need men, men need women? Like, just, just let it go. Let it go. Some people don't want no man in their life. Some men don't want no woman in their life. Like, what's the point of, like, these all these rants about um men saying that women are like stubborn because they don't want to be in a relationship and stuff like that like what's the point what's the hype about what's all this hype about okay what is it like can you answer me that question it's a lot of women out here that's single you know they want a man and stuff like that but that's their business like that's their business there's a lot of women out here that don't want no man that's their business like that's their business it's a lot of men that don't want a woman that's their business it's a lot of men that do want a woman that's their business it's up to them to go find that it's not up to somebody else to say and sit here and say like oh women are going to be mad because they don't have a man or they're going to regret not having kids or something like that like if they don't want kids let them not want kids like stop being horny bastards and like getting mad because you want a one night stand so you want to go out and make women feel bad about not wanting a man like us women we know the game we know the game true ladies or not man y'all know the game right true or not nobody's for nobody it is what it is <laughs> we gotta let it be known god is for everybody you know it is what it is so i was sitting up here listening to this pastor today and whatnot talking about um he saw two girls in a grocery store ranting about they don't need a man like why are you so worried about somebody else not needing a man like why i don't get it why why like anybody drop in the comments below why is it so important for women to have men like why is it so important do they come home late do they pay all the bills do they give you peace do they do they want you in their finances do they support your dream ladies and um fellas like the, 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 is that what they provide for you to keep you in this state of mind that you know you you want to be with somebody no because god can provide all of that for you and yourself so why do you need somebody else in your space so i want to play a clip really quick and um just you know just about the topic that this um this gentleman was bringing up and it just kind of keeps it's just disturbs me like i try not to let it disturb me but it's just like the catchy titles and stuff like that it just you know just pops up and i'm just like let me check this out you know i'm bored sitting in my car waiting for my kids to get out of school and it's just every day like it's just like rage is going on about women being this and that because they they saying they don't want a man like nobody wants company some people don't want company 
but yeah hold on really quick okay so never mind guys i'm not gonna be playing the clip because i had to read over some copyright issues or something like that so yeah so um so what this gentleman is saying is he's saying that like um he's kind of he's trying to compare like what what you grow basically like your fruit is basically compared to like the men or women that you uh go out and seek like basically you pick your fruits how you you know you harvest your fruits how you want them like basically like but my thing is like what is the big point about that saying all of that when like clearly it's young girls getting in relationships expecting to get married and stuff like that but they ended up getting cheated on or lied to like like that's what people don't understand that's why women are single a lot of women are single right now because of these issues that men created who was the first cheaters on the earth who were the first people that had to go out and sleep with a bunch of women to create all these human beings on the earth like it was men but um yeah it was a point in time that could happen but god he didn't like that he stopped that so that's what men they feel to realize just because they saw that in the bible that they you know that that's still acceptable in today's time in society which is not acceptable because if that's the case then why does it say if you commit adultery which is cheating in your marriage then that's a sin Hmm. yeah so back to the topic um i'm gonna be playing this video i don't mind my headphones but i'm gonna be playing this video on my laptop because i have to still set up my streaming services and stuff like that and like my um reaction services and um yeah so i need to get more insight on what i was so like bothered by earlier because yeah so it's just like a lot of stuff he was saying basically like women are getting to a point of age where they get to a point of age where they can't have kids and they're going to regret it and i'm just like um some women don't want kids like feelings are feelings you get a feeling you lose a feeling like you some women are going to be heart birthing by a relationship or getting cheated on but at the end of the day they're going to forget about that just like having a kid like you're gonna think about it or see a cute kid and think about it but then you're gonna be like oh it's not so bad after all so what is he, what is he talking about now what he's saying is that the women were very prideful like they were very confident that they didn't want a man like we do what we see like that's what men do so why why can't we do it just because they're a man like it doesn't we don't separate ourselves from a title we're all the same we just look like women we could do the same thing and if it's cheating men shouldn't be doing that anyway if it's sleeping around with a bunch of men women men shouldn't be doing that anyway because that's fornication so where are we talk where are we getting here like there's a lot of people that's saying oh women can't do what men can yes we can we all are not supposed to be fornicating and committing adultery so what is there else left to do that women can't do that men can do hang outside at late at night go outside and hang out with their homeboys they shouldn't be doing that anyway because that's not safe it can it's, sometimes it can you can it can lead you in an unsafe situation so where are we where are we getting at here with men shouldn't do what when sh, women shouldn't do what men do hmm <laughs> like let me know and i know people are entitled to their own opinions and whatnot but it's like it's just like they're posting it on the whole society of women like they're just saying these women like we all are these women so what are you guys talking about if a if a woman does not want a relationship she does not want a relationship you want to put something over a woman's head to make them feel bad you want to make them feel down about themselves because you want to have sex with a woman and you want to do what you want to do and you want to put them down because they don't want to be with you because they know what you're about 
it's no argument here. Go to the strip club and pay for somebody who, who's going to let you do that to them because that's clearly what strip clubs are for. Then And then he goes on to say that women despise the duties of a woman such as cooking, cleaning, and bearing a child. Like, um, women do not despise that. Men and women do what they want to do. If a man is a cluttered person, he's going to be a cluttered person. No woman's going to want to clean up after a man all the time. That's exactly why we don't have men. Some women don't want a man because men take advantage of a woman and what they're told, supposed to do. But nobody's going to let anybody take advantage of them and let them be in outside relationships on top of doing all that extra stuff. Like Nobody's going to tolerate that. Sorry but nobody's going to tolerate that god's not even going to tolerate that in a minute so get yourself together if you out here doing that man or woman and then um another thing is is like he's basically saying that women have traded their their aspect on doing all these womanly duties for money like when have you not heard of a time where a man have gotten tired of a woman living off of his income and him going to leave her for the next woman? Like, it's only a few relationships that haven't been like that. So why would a woman settle for less when it's been a pattern? You can research this stuff. It's been a pattern of single mother households. Single mother households. 80% of the, of the world has a um, single mother households and it's only about 20 percent of single father households and this is a proven fact so what do men keep bringing this topic up because they want a quick a quickie a quickie like that's all they want is a quickie basically then goes on to rant and say about talking about women will gladly go submit to a job but they won't submit to a man um just shut up like just shut up what what don't you get about going to work getting your own money doing what you want to do not getting cheated on not catching stds what don't you get about that that's what that's not what a job um requires right so why wouldn't a woman go submit to a job then submit to a man that's going to be out here cheating on her pass it around STDs getting other women pregnant and which is oh um it's in the bible they're supposed to be fruitful no they're supposed to be fruitful in the fucking household so it's no point of trying to keep pushing this narrative and saying that they're supposed to be out here having multiple kids by everybody like I said what's the point of them putting fornication in the bible if they want God wants you to do that make up make up your mind do you want to be faithful or do you want to commit fornication and follow the and, and disobey the Bible? And then he says um, that women would rather go submit for a paycheck, but won't submit to a man. Yeah, a submit to a paycheck that's going to take care of her in case you leave her. Like, what's the, what don't people get? What don't people get? You can't put your trust in a man. You got to put your trust in God. Simple, simple. That's where women mess up with, mess up at. That's where men mess up at. They put their trust into their friends and their family and they end up with nothing until they get back up on their feet. He said, he said that you still have to go submit to a job. You still going to submit to a paycheck but um you still you still have to basically submit to those things but you're not submitting to fail a failed relationship like that's way better to get yourself established going to submit to a job than going to submit to a man that's going to despise you for trying to be a stay-at-home mom they're going to get frustrated with their bills they're going to cheat on you possibly yeah i'm going to submit to that so i can make sure i'm good that I'm not living in my parents' basement or my friend's basement or on, sleeping on my friend's couch when you decide to put my stuff out. <laughs> so, yeah, and then um, another thing is he's talking about 
um, women going through menopause and everything like that. Like, so what? It's women out here that that can have children for your informa for his information. They can have children at an older age, and he's talking about women that um, basically when they if they get old enough and they you know they have a they're at high risk then you know something can happen basically but it doesn't matter man or woman any child can come out with a disability like don't let this pe these people program you into thinking that these all these false allegations and rumors about oh women have to be a certain age to have a child no they don't any any man can go out and have a kid at an old age after he feel like oh she she wasted her time let me go out and show her that i can go have all these kids but your one of your children can come out with a disability so where are we going again where are, where are we going and basically about um basically saying that her beauty's gonna fade away Okay, so why is there so many men out here complaining that women don't want a woman if his his features is not faded away? Obviously, nobody wants your ass <laughs> either, okay? And then he said, talk about, oh, so women, um, once they, they can be so beautiful, but once she opens her mouth, the man finds out that um, her beauty is basically trash but it goes the same freaking way with men as soon as women find out that their man is cheating on them or doing anything that they despise of them they're going to leave them so it's no one-way streak here again it's no one-way streak i don't understand why women men feel that they can rule over us like that they can't god is the only person that can rule over anybody if you're not married, you don't have to listen to all these men. That's how my point is. I'm I'm not I'm listening, but I'm just trying to uprise these women that are getting down or uprise the men that feel like, you know, the women out here telling them that they need to be in a relationship. Nobody has to listen to anybody. You don't need to be in a relationship. Focus on yourself. If you want to be by yourself, be by yourself. Simple and you will be happy. <laughs> oh what does a woman have in her future when she doesn't go out and get a man but a, a cat a dog and a just empty space nothing uh so what do men have when they do that same exact thing <laughs> look i'm chabby lane Like, what do they have? <laughs> what upper authority do men think they have on us women? Like, it's they don't have shit on us. Especially when you got your seat. If you got your shit together, you won't be sitting there trying to depend on no man to do none of this stuff for you. Because you already got your shit together. You happy. You going on vacations. You're not worrying about a person getting mad at you for going to two different restaurants you can go to three different restaurants if you want to you don't have to worry about a person oh you so picky yeah i'm fucking picky and i'm gonna be picky by my fucking goddamn self like you can go shoot with all that okay <laughs> he wouldn't have shit to do with us shit shows y'all that's what he said girl we don't want shit to do with y'all. That's why y'all out here complaining and stressing about us not having no man. Because nobody wants to deal with you guys like that. It's only a few select men that I would give to myself to. I'd have been cheated on, never cheated, lied to, never lied to. Where do you think this attitude built up from? Like, it still just didn't come out from nowhere. I was a faithful fucking girlfriend at a young ass age. So, yeah. Now, y'all see Nia Londa got cheated on, right? She he's talking about, oh, these women are choosing to go out here and submit to a paycheck and do this and that. And they're going to, they won't submit to a righteous, faithful man. But, um, 
where is the where are the right righteous faithful men? Point me to the point me to them because I've been looking. Like you see them, let me know. Cause I'm I I I don't want a man, but I mean I will submit to a faithful man. Okay. So yeah, now he bragging about men and women and how women's time clock stops and how this and that. Like men value goes up. Like women's value go up when they sit down and be by, by themselves and don't have to tend to no man and they get the, they get their mind focused on what they need to be focused on. Their value goes up too now. Now men, their value gets lower too, just like women's because why are they out here ranting about women not wanting a man? Make it make sense. <laughs> we get you, we get what you're saying now. So he's talking about men basically the man value topic and stuff like that but who cares if y'all want to go out there and spread all y'all seeds and get put on child support child support we don't give a fuck that's y'all value and y'all income like who cares who gives a fuck go have 20 million to 20 30 million kids and go pay them women child support we don't give a fuck because our funds are going to be on stable and in, in our pockets like we don't have to worry about going to 30 different households to go visit kids that we don't have. Now it's that it's a man in a store and a woman's working there and she didn't cooperate. So basically now what he's saying is the man didn't want her, her value dropped boy that's what happened when you guys were out here cheating on us women we didn't want you anymore that's why everybody has a panic attack now because the women the women's supply is getting low that's why y'all out here men are out here mad the same reason why y'all our values drop y'all values drop too partner okay we us women that's the thing us women we knew we've been new to values of of marriage and relationship it's the men that failed at that right yeah nine times out of ten it's the man that breaks the woman's heart and they don't want to be with the man no more oh well i can go find me another one well, go ahead go have go get her pregnant and do the same thing to her and she leave you and then pay that child support like we don't care Bye. So this is the video though that I'm watching. You can't hear it, I'm sorry. I could have been playing, playing a video like this the whole time. See how this stuff get me all mixed up and I can't think straight because... Yeah, and it's none of our fault. miserable we're happy i'm happy i was able to get a whole home for eleven thousand eleven hundred dollars and fix it up myself 
don't have no man coming in late don't have no man going have me going back and forth to the doctors don't have no man snoring next to me don't have a man telling me what i can and cannot stop and go get something to eat oh i'm are you picky you're difficult okay let me be difficult that's why i'm happy to be alone i like virtual relationships okay i'm a virtual person now i'm a virtual person <laughs> I'm going to be on the beach, okay? Single. Unless I find that faithful guy, which I never going to, I don't even trust to, to tr I don't even trust my own judgment or nobody else's judgment. If I don't trust my own judgment, then why should I trust a man's judgment to, to, to tell me he's faithful? I had a man lie in my face for 10 years about him not being, having, doing it to some girl in his mama basement. Let me shut up and let him talk. Your name has been inside of you that has done changed you completely into why you look like a woman. You seem like a woman. But when you overcome your mouth, you sound manly. Yeah, and some of these men be sounding girly with their tight skinny jeans on, <laughs> with their pink hoodies. I know colors are colors, but it's like don't try to reverse the psychology on just us y'all look foolish too that's why i don't even want to date no man because i want a man with some baggy nice fitted pants i don't want no man that that looks like my fucking cousin or sister out here walking around with me listen, listen to what he's saying Dude, it's women out here that's 50 something and men talk. Oh, she look like she about 30. Let me get on. So shut the fuck up. Women never women never got cancer either. Didn't I tell y'all cancel culture is no such thing as cancel culture? God will always have blessings for you. No matter how old you are, who you are. We can always adopt kids and be peacefully by ourselves. Cause ain't nothing. The man ain't gonna be there to take care of the baby anyway. If he expecting us to be in the house taking care of the kids, so why do we need a man to come drop it off in us at night when he get off, and probably won't even come home and do that? He probably gonna go to the next bitch house, right? So yeah, guys, I'm gonna go play the rest of this video. But you guys get what I'm saying. Like, nobody, no, the right woman in her right mind that's been through the experiences. Like I said, Nia Long, Beyonce, how many celebrities and rich, pretty women that are that are submissive gets cheated on? More than half more than 75 percent it's nobody i have a who, who it's you only me that's why everybody values marriages that last a long time so much because it's not many of them and it's not the woman's fault uh, i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm gonna be out peace